What's <coughs> up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, <coughs> Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on this Finish Strong Friday. What did I say? Finish Strong Friday. It's Friday, y'all. But y'all know the grind don't stop. The grind don't stop because it's Friday. <laughs> it don't stop. It don't stop. As entrepreneurs, as leaders, y'all know it's just another, well, it ain't just another Friday. It's always Finish Strong Friday because that's what we do. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out today. As y'all can see, the brand new suite is outside today. We we out we out here, we ain't in them streets, but we out here, <laughs> but we out here getting it in, getting that exercise in, getting that walk in. I got my walk in coach. I got my walk in coach. I'm walking. I'm going to go drink my water too. <laughs> I'm talking to my coach, Marcy, the queen of fitness. If y'all ain't, uh, if y'all don't know about her, y'all need to, to join her. If you're a, a woman over 35, you're looking to be able to get fit, get it, get uh, get in shape, do what it is that you do as a, as a busy woman. Um, uh, Coach Marcy has an absolute phenomenal program for you. Um, the the routines, the exercise, she customizes it for you. She has a complete program. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even try to explain to you what it is, but check her out. Uh definitely look her up. Coach Marcy, you can put it up and you'll be able to um you look up Phoenix Tribe mm-hmm. Fitness is the name of her company that she has is absolutely phenomenal. She has um, you know, uh prep uh prep programs food programs all of this good stuff uh she's a nutritionist she's a a fitness instructor a fitness program director all of those great things that'll keep you in uh keep you in shape get you looking in shape i know the holidays are coming up so you want to be ready for the holidays and be able to you know be able to be able to stay fit during the holidays and she'll have all of that good stuff for you the experience that she gives you is phenomenal and that's what we're going to talk about today y'all know what we've been doing all this week we've been unleashing unleashing entrepreneurial excellence and what does that mean it's the 10 steps to create value that last 10 steps to create value that last we've been talking about it all week we've been talking about the the things that you need to be doing in order to be able to now we're going to do uh this week and next week remember it's a two-part two-part series we, we've been doing part of it this week we're going to do the the rest of it the the, uh, the next five and next week but today we're talking about we're talking about prioritizing the cost your customer experience or your client i'm gonna say i have customer written but i'm gonna say client experience because we want your customers to go from customers to clients in a way that one of the ways one of the major ways that you take your cl- customers and make them into clients is the experience that you give to them so what experience are you giving to those that do um business with you, whether it's partnerships, whether it's a partner that you do business with, business to business, or whether you do um, business to consumer, whichever way your customer experience must be prioritized, you got to prioritize it. And what do I mean by the experience? That means that every single time that they have an encounter mm-hmm. with you, that, that your customers, clients have an encounter with you, what do you want them to come away feeling? How do you want them to come away feeling? Morning, Dwight. Morning, Doc. How you? Good, good morning, y'all. It's Friday. <laughs> but what do you want them to come away with? What's the experience? How do you want them to feel coming coming away from it? And and, and this morning, what, when you're dealing with the, the prioritizing your customer experience, here's the three things. The three things you got to do, and this is from uh, from my, my great business friend. She gave me this idea, and I started thinking about it. She she talks about it. It's the before, the during, and the after. What's the before experience? What's the during experience? What's the after experience that you give to your clients? 
What, what are you doing? What are those things that you're doing before you even have the encounter with them? Do you have systems in place? Do you have processes in place? Do you have con- uh, those communication materials in place in order for you to be able to take them through the walk them through the whole uh, the the whole your whole business brand experience? For me, it's it's the JNF experience. It's the brand you experience. What are those things that that I'm doing before I even I even do business with them? Do I have an email system set up so that I can make a connection with them? How am I connecting with them? Where can they find me? Can they find me on Facebook? Can they find me on Instagram? Can they find me on YouTube? Where are people going to find you? That's the before. That, those are the things that you do before so you can be seen and you can be found. You got to do the marketing. You got to do the the branding. You got to have a marketing plan. You got to have a branding strategy. That's the before. Doing the research, understanding where to find your target audience. Y'all know we talked about the target audience, your target market earlier this week. Where can you find them? That's what your marketing plan will do for you. Your, your, that, that's how you will get get hot. That's how you get get seen. How you get found, or yeah, how you get seen. How you how you get how you get found. Or I'm sorry, that's how you get 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 seen. Is your marketing plan? How you get found is your branding strategy. What's your branding strategy? What are those three fundamental foundational things that you want people to know? When they, uh, when they think about you, your business, and your brand. One of the, the phenomenal, phenomenal things about the experience that we had going to Kenya, Africa, being a part of the, the CBO uh, Kenya Summit, it's, it was an experience. It was an experience from the beginning where all of the logistical part of it had to be put together, making sure that we had our passports, making sure that we had our shots, making sure that all of the reservations were made, making sure that any printing materials that that were needed were done. All of those things were done by, by Bernice Loman and her team. And, and on the on the Kenya side by, by Pastor Thomas and his team. That's the before, y'all. That was the before. They they took care of all of those things so that we could move smoothly into, into the event. That's the before. What are you doing before you even eat before you even connect with your with your clients? You gotta do the before work. You got to put the research in. You got to put the work in. And I'm sure even before she put it out there, as far as the the, the CBO Kenya, she did her research. Uh, Pastor Thomas did his research on whether it was a viable event that they could create, this experience that they wanted to create. And, and our experience before we went there was was absolutely great there were timetables there were things that we had to do there were there were uh uh, things that had to be put in place there were communications that had to be had all of that was the before that's the before experience so what what's the before experience that you're giving to your to your clients what what that once you've dealt with the before then, then you have you have the whole plan laid out, so that you know what that whole experience looks like. Take a look at any of the businesses that you that you patronize and that you deal with, and ask yourself what is the experience like with them. Well, I want you to do that today. That's your that's your that's your homework for today and for this weekend. I know you're going to have fun because I tell you always to have fun on, on the weekends or Fridays. Friday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, always do something fun. But what I want you to think about, what I want you to kind of put in, in your mind is no matter what it is, pick pick one of the, you know, things that you got to do when you're going to the dry cleaners to pick up your clean, clean your, your clothes, um, uh, going to the supermarket to buy your food, <coughs> going to your favorite restaurant or going to a restaurant. I want you to pay attention to your experience. I want you to, to see 
the experience that that particular business walks you through. From the from the initial time, if you got a call or order in, what's that like? If you if you've got to make reservations, what's that like? If you got to go to Walmart, <laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> what's that like? <laughs> if you if you go to Chick Fil A, what's that like? Take take notice of your your experience. As you as you go through in dealing with business, I want you to take a look at that today. What's the experience that that you get? And then I want you to take a look at the experience that you give to your clients. And I want you to sit with that. Yeah, there's a part two to the homework. So yeah, you, you got you got a couple of days, so you can you can do this. But I want you to write. I want you to think that. I want you to think about what do you want the experience that your clients have with you to be like. What do you want them to come away with after they've had done business with you? You've dealt with the before. Now, the during. What are you doing doing during the encounter that you're having with your clients? Are they going to have to wait? Do you keep them, to keep them waiting? Or are you on time with what you say you're going to be doing? If you have a meeting with, with someone at, at uh, 11 o'clock, are you there at 11.05, 11.15, 11.30? 11 What's the experience like? Are you prepared are you prepared to do business with them? Do you come to the meeting with an agenda, knowing what it is that you want to talk about, understanding what your client needs? As an entrepreneur, as a leader, it's about the before, the during, and the after. If, if, we, if we look at it, business through that lens, I promise you, I promise you, you'll be... You'll, you'll be top of mind. You'll be that category of one. You'll be who it is that people will look to when they do when they do that when they do business for, uh, needing that particular type of product or service. Y- y'all hear me talk about Coach Marcy all the time, and, and I talk about her, and I talk about Doctor Will, my, uh, one of my mentors. I talk about them all the time. I talk about Chick-fil-A all the time. Why? Because the experience that I get with them consistently each and every time. They took the time. They take the time to think about their business before, during, and after. It's, it's, it should be in your DNA. You should have that all mapped out what that look what that experience looks like because it you want to make sure that it happens each and every time you want to know why chick-fil-a is is the number one customer service restaurant if you ask me fast food restaurant because they they understand what it is to create an experience with doing business with them that makes people want to come back over and over and over again. The, the food is great, and, and that's going to be a part of why you go back to Chick-fil-A, I promise you. That's going to be one of the reasons why you go to, go to, to stay at the Marriott versus, you know, the Sheraton or, or one of the other uh, hotel, or the Holiday Inn, one of those other hotels. It's the experience that's going to that's going to separate you what's that experience like that I can't stress enough when the importance of the during what when you're doing business during doing those things that you say you're going to do making sure that the experience the encounter that you have 
and, and I'm not going to get I'm not going to get spiritual, but but I will mention this one story in the Bible where Jesus has an encounter. And this is what I think about when I thought about my business, JNF Enterprises, when I thought about the encounter that Jesus had with the woman at the well. He had an encounter with her. She thought she was going to get water. She and she got more than water. She she he not only met her need as far as the physical water, but he exceeded her expectation. Because here's what she did. This is how powerful Jesus' experience was with her. And and this as an entrepreneur, as a leader, this is what you want. <laughs> this is what you want people to come away with. His his encounter with her, her experience was so phenomenal with him. She went back to where she lived and said, come see a man that told me about myself. I didn't had such an experience with him that I had to come tell you all to go and see him. And, and that's the experience you want your customers, your clients to have with you where they go and tell someone else, hey, you got the, you got to go you got to go do business with them. You've got to you've got to experience their product, their service. They are fen- absolutely phenomenal. Cuz it's not just about meeting the need, it's exceeding the expectation. Are you exceeding the expectation of your clients? Are you exceeding the expectation of your partners that you do partner with, that you do have in partnership with? Does your brand speak to people beyond their, their 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 initial encounter so much so that they want to go tell others about it that's the during that's the before and the during y'all and and here's the after and then I'm done the after experience what are you doing I call it the follow up what are you doing to follow up with those that you've had the exp- that you've given the experience to that you've had the encounter with are you following up with an email? Are you following up with a uh, thank you? Are you following up with how was your experience with us? This is what makes Marriott so powerful a, a, a business and a company and a corporation. This is how adamant they are about their experience, your experience with them. And, and I, I know I've said this before. I've told this story before. But with Marriott, they give their, they give their guests customer service cards and they ask you to rate your experience those those those, that grading system that they have is then used to determine whether or not that particular hotel that's a friend if it's a friend especially if it's a franchise now if it's a corporate owned marriott owned hotel then then they'll do something different but for their franchise hotels if you get below, hear me, if you get below a 90% on your scorecard, you can't keep your Marriott flag. That's how important the experience that they want you to have with them when you stay with them is and means to them. And and not only do they take the cards and they 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 grade you on the grading system. If you get below a certain level, <laughs> and my and my buddy David can can verify this and with the French. He didn't work with Marriott, but he worked with other hotels <clears throat> that did the same thing. They had the same concept. You getting a phone call as the GM. You're getting a phone call because they want to know. <laughs> they want to know what's going on. <laughs> Why aren't you giving our guests the experience that we promised them that they would get as Marriott? So you've got to be that that adamant about the experience that you want your clients to have with you. And you've got to you you've got to take that mindset into what you want 
And that's why I told you to go when you, as you go to do what you know, do the different tasks that you do. Take notice of the, of the businesses, because the experience that you expect from other businesses should be the experience that you want to give to your clients, to your customers. It's the before, the during, and the after. What we've got to prioritize our customer client experience. What's the experience that you want them to have? That's that's how you create value that lasts. That's how you unleash your entrepreneurial excellence, operating in excellence, where people understand and know what they're going to get, what they're going to gain from the experience that they have when they do business with you. Can you, <laughs> can you dig it? That, that's what Finish Strong Friday is about. How are you going to finish strong today in the experience that you're going to give to your clients? Take that into your weekend. <laughs> That's what I got for you today. It's about the experience. Let's prioritize the experience. You prioritize your experience by having the before, the during, and the after. It may sound simple, uh, but it, it takes work. Be intentional about it. Be intentional about the experience that you give. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. We'll see y'all on Monday with part two part two of unleashing unleashing unleash entrepreneurial excellence in you we'll talk to y'all soon have a great 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 day have a great weekend do something fun this weekend get that walk in too we'll see y'all soon